Hi, and this is the first vid for the second lesson of Moments. So let me find it. Here we go. And it's all about stuff that's tilted, so, or, or just on the point of tilting. So if you imagine you've got a ruler uh, on your two fingers and you're holding it up, and somebody just presses down on the end until it's just about ready to tip. At that point, the kind of like the furthest away point that it was on, it's kind of like pretending it's not there almost. So if you look at this, this question, it says a uniform rod of length 4 metres um, has a mass 12 kilograms resting in a horizontal position on supports at C and D, where if they're both half a metre in, when the particle of mass M is placed on a rod at point B, which is the end, it's just on the point of turning about D. So it's just about going to tip that way. So if it's just about going to tip that way, this bit here is on the verge of lifting off here. It's just about to lift off from there. So there's actually no contact there. So that bit just doesn't exist. So that's what this is about. Right, so I've got that one there. That was anti-clockwise. And this one goes clockwise. And here is my pivot. This is where it's pivoting on. Right, so let's have a look then. So clockwise moments equals anti-clockwise moments. It's on the verge of moving. It's not moving. But there is no, there's nothing on that C point. So going clockwise is this one. This one's clockwise. So it's got mg times by a half a metre from the pivot. Then I've got clockwise is 12g times by... Uh, one and a half meters away from the pivot. So the G's will cancel. I've got 0.5 M is equal to 18. So M is going to be 36 kilos. So that's not too bad, is it, that one? Let's see if we can get two in as well on the same idea. So I've got a uniform rod, AB, mass 9 kilos, held in equilibrium by a vertical wire at C. So you've got your wire at C and a support at D. Uh, an object of mass 3 kilos is placed on B. The rod is still horizontal in equilibrium, but it's on the point of tilting around D. So there's your pivot. It's just about to lift, and this, this wire is going to go slack. So the wire is about to go slack. So if it's about to go slack, there is nothing there. So let's have a look. So there's my pivot. There. So I've got clockwise. So my clockwise pivots are equal to my anticlockwise moments, sorry. And I've got anticlockwise. So I've got 3g times 1.5 is 9g times by. Now it was, does it say, ah, now I want the distance, don't I? I want the length of the rod. So if I, if I call this distance here x, so that's going to be 3g times x. So the g's go, I've got 4.5 is 9x. So I've got half a metre is that length of x. So that must mean then from the 9g to the 3g, hang on, oh, pen's not working properly. So from the 9g through to the 3g, that's going to be 0.5 plus 1.5. So that's going to be 2 metres, but that's half of the rod. Is it a rod or is it a plank or is it a what? A rod. So that's half of the rod. So the length of the rod must be 4 metres then. I hope that makes sense. But how simple is that when it's saying it's on the point of moving? But the other bit just dis disappears. Right, I'm going to stop there for the next bit.